Welcome to Wellness Wednesday, brought to you by the Centers for Integrative Medicine and Health from Trinity Health of New England. I'm Kathy Muller. I'm a family physician, and I have 18 years of experience in integrative medicine. And working with Tim Michaels, the regional coordinator of the Together Health Experience here at Trinity, we are bringing this program to you to um, help share tools for wellness that will benefit our colleagues and our community. Tim, so glad to have you here. So good to be here with you. Kathy, it seems like it's taken us a long time to get this launched, so I'm, I'm happy. Um, it's something that we've been hearing from the staff. They want short, easy to access, easy to understand videos, so this is great. Before we really jump into it, though, can you just level set everybody? What is integrative medicine? So integrative medicine is the combination of mainstream Western medical techniques with complementary and alternative therapies for which there's good science. And what we do in the specialty is take someone, for example, with migraine headaches, go through a history and physical, just like you would with your regular doc, but we bring in some stuff that your conventionally trained, trained physician might not know. So we bring in maybe acupuncture or some supplements. We look at some um, meditation techniques. We look at massage therapy or yoga. And the, the um, treatment, if you want to call it, is more of a, an overall holistic approach rather than here, take this and call me in two weeks. Not to minimize the effect of conventional medicine, that's why this is merged. We can't use just one. I think we really need to use both. And so this is going to be an important um, tool for our colleagues, but also for our patients who come into integrative medicine to learn some of these wellness tips and tricks um, that you and I have had so much fun discovering. It'll be an easy way on Wellness Wednesday to share them with all. So it, it's funny because in my experience with you, um, one of my favorite times to interact with you is before surgery. Not that I enjoy having surgeries, like I go out of my way to have them to work with you, but the techniques that I've been taught to stay as calm as possible going into surgery, but also pain management after. Um, so I just wanted to kind of throw that out there to you. I, I think from my perspective, the role that I have for the region right now, the Together Health Experience, I want to take a step back. It really is grounded in the mission that all colleagues that are part of Trinity Health across the nation share. Um, and, and it's that notion that we're responding to the spirit of the gospel calling, that we're going to work together and provide compassionate care to the community. And, and when I look at Together Health Experience, it is a strategy and a focus that says we're going to look at our colleagues, our patients and their families, and our providers. And we're going to go back to the real core of our work, what's at the heart of our work. We're listening carefully. We want you to feel supported. We're a good partner to go through this with you. And that we're going to do it as, as quick for you, and we're going to make it easy. People don't come to healthcare as if it's a resort to relax. They're under high stress. We've got to make it easy. So in listening to our colleagues lately, um, they've been talking a lot to us about after working a 12 or 14 or 16 hour shift, they understand the importance of trying to take care of themselves. But what could we do that small snippets, small pieces, um, and that's easy to integrate into their day? It's why it's going to be such a lovely partnership for us, right? So we're going to be able to bring this to a community, not just patients, not just providers, not just colleagues, not just but we're going to be able to do it as a community, to be healthier overall right. as a community. So it's just, it's such an exciting partnership. It really is. And each week, we're going to try and bring one simple tool that we can all learn how to integrate into our lives. And, you know, we teach what we need to learn. So I need to practice on these tools as much, and uh, probably more than, than many others. So for today, I was thinking about just talking about one simple conscious breath and how impactful that can be. Okay. So one conscious breath, meaning that for a moment, we just spend a moment focusing on our breath. And what that does, it seems too simple to be powerful, but what it does is it brings us back into our own bodies. It takes us away from the distraction of our minds and whatever might be circling around us or worrying us or um, bothering us or pushing us or, or pulling us, whatever it is, 
but it brings us sort of back into our center. And we all just work better when we are in our center. We know that when we respond to requests by our friends and our families or, or our colleagues, when we're stressed, we're shorter, we're not as nice as we want to be, we're not our authentic selves. And so if we can bring that stress level down just a notch, we have that space that we've just created so that we respond like we want to. Awesome. Can we try it? Yeah, I think we just try it. So we're going to just, we're going to actually do a breath in and a breath out just to kind of get our focus on our breath. And then we're just going to have a quiet breath. And what I want to do is just pay attention to the feeling of the breath as it goes in through your nose, as it goes down into your lungs. Pause just for a minute, exhale, and then pay attention to the space between the next breath, so the after the exhale, that, that, that little tiny bit of time in between when you exhale and you inhale. It's a really interesting place that I think is a very relaxing place. And it doesn't mean like holding your breath and doing this all tense, but take one breath in and out, and then I'm going to be quiet, and we're going to take a second breath and just pay attention to it. All right? So we're going to go in through our nose and out through our mouth. Now one more. So that was just a few seconds, but it just serves as a reset and just allows us to behave more the way that we want to behave. Interesting thing to try throughout your day. I, I definitely agree. Um, that simple activity brought me down a couple of notches. Um, so I want to welcome everybody to this effort of trying to bring you some small tools. And I think I'll, I'll end our first uh, chat with you all by just kind of pointing out that trying what Kathy is talking about, taking a conscious breath, really is a choice. And I think for me, the trigger usually is when I'm believing I don't have time to slow down, I don't have choices, if I can catch myself and this is the moment to take a conscious breath, um, I might have very different experiences from that breath on. So thank you all and thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Tim. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.